everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Friday evening. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get my videos done early tonight um, so that I can just kind of relax and watch TV. I don't know what we're going to watch tonight. I haven't figured it out yet, but um, any suggestions, put them below. We're looking for something kind of funny. I don't know. I don't know what I want to watch tonight, but i um, Got a couple more videos for you guys before uh, this evening, and one of them I'm calling Bake Shop Bonanza, Bath and Body Works Bake Shop Bonanza with Bonnie. How's that for alliteration? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. So Bath and Body Works just came out with, of course I don't have these organized, just came out with Ice Lemon Pound Cake and Sweet Petal Pound Cake. I just reviewed both of these. If you look back um, through my recent videos, you will see the reviews on these. I love the Iced Lemon Pound Cake. This one is fabulous. Um, the Sweet Petal Pound Cake, not so much. I feel like this one just really didn't do it for me. Um, I really wanted more bakery and less you know, less rose. Um, the lemon one is wonderful. It literally smells um, like ice lemon pound cake. I think it's almost better than bright lemon snowdrop. I'm thinking it is. I'm thinking it is. Um, it is sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake. If you like that type of thing, you're going to love this one. If you're not a foodie, this one's going to just, you're not going to like it. Trust me. <laughs> this one is all foodie. Um, I love it. Sweet Petal Pound Cake. This one is Candied Rose, Raspberry Swirl, and Frosted Bun Cake. I like it in the shower gel. I get a little more raspberry. It's not necessarily a pound cake, though. I don't know where they're getting pound cake from this, um, but it's not pound cake. It's, it's a lot more rose, and I don't love it. It's not Pink Petal Tea Cake. I just, I'm just not a huge fan. It's, it's not doing it for me. I love the packaging. So those are the two newest. So, um, I got more bake shop. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. I was just in like a bake shop mood tonight. <laughs> so, um, Santa's blueberry shortbread. I think this is the next one that everyone's really wanting because ice lemon pound cake is close enough to bright lemon snowdrop then we're all pretty happy, honestly. I mean, it's it's close. Santa's Blueberry Shortbread um, is next on my list to be bugging Bath & Body Works for. I love this one. It, it doesn't have to be exactly uh, Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. I take a blueberry cobbler. Um, I, I would like blueberry. Blueberry and vanilla in a bakery scent would be wonderful. I'm really hoping uh, we get Santa's blueberry shortbread back next. Speaking of Santa's blueberry shortbread, I need to go to raspberry jam donut next. These are in no particular order. I was going to do a ranking video and I'm like, you know what? I can't rank these. I love them all. There's no way I can rank these. It's just impossible. So um, I was actually going to do a video ranking like ice lemon pound cake, uh, the sweet pound cake. What, I always get the name mixed up. Sweet Petal pound cake and then strawberry pound cake, but it's a no brainer. You know what it's going to be. It wouldn't even be fun. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing the bake shop bonanza instead. So, raspberry jam donut, next on my list. This one is wild berry jam, uh, no, wild berry. It's wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and warm, fluffy donut. This is about the closest we've ever gotten to. Santa's blueberry shortbread. And there was like a big debate when this came out if it was a repackage of Santa's blueberry shortbread. I was on team now. I was like, no way are these two the same. I get a lot of blueberry in this one. And in the raspberry jam donut, I get a lot more raspberry and powdered sugar. I prefer uh, Santa's blueberry shortbread. I do. I like it better. Although this one's good. I gotta say, I wish they would bring this one back for summer. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, going in a, a pattern here. I, I feel like there's a theme. <laughs> Next up, Berry Waffle Cone. I wanted to love this one. I did. It is Sweet Summer Berries, Golden Waffle Cone, and Creamy Vanilla. 
Um, I don't know if it's the, um, I don't know what it is in here, but it doesn't work for me. It's kind of putrid. I don't know why. A lot of people get this from Berry Waffle Cone. On the dry down, there's like this undertone of like grossness and I don't know what it is, <laughs> but a lot of people love it. So it's got to be um, like how it reacts with your skin. This one just does not work for me. Um, I do wish they would bring out peach sugar cone in a body care. I think peach sugar cone, actually it would work in this collection. You can call it peach pound cake. I don't care what you call it. Um, in orange, it would look really good with this set. It would be really hot, but I think it would work. Peach sugar cone is that candle that we had a couple of years ago and it smells so good. It's a really good peach. Um, which brings me to peach prosecco macaroon. We're going to talk. We're going to talk about this one next. Um, but before I get to my peach, um, I'm just going to mention pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, I actually have put away with my fall stuff <laughs> because it's not a huge like. I don't love it. I don't love pumpkin pecan waffles either. Um, so that's put away with fall. But I kind of put pumpkin pecan waffles in the same boat as the berry waffle cone. I'm not loving it. Now, blueberry sugar pancakes, I also have that in my fall stuff. I do like that one. I do like the blueberry sugar pancakes, but to me, that one is like less like bakery and more um, like breakfast. So there's like bakery and there's breakfast. I prefer like a bakery scent. Um, like a cupcake, a cake, a pound cake. <laughs> so there's like all these nuances of bakery. Um, peach Prosecco, I get, I get in so much trouble because I think I mispronounced this. There's macaron and macaroon, and I'm probably screwing that up too. I always, I always thought these things were macaroons, but then there's another cookie. I don't know. I'm getting it all messed up. But anyway, this is peach. <laughs> It's a peach cookie. Um, this one is peach prosecco, vanilla cream, and mac. I'm calling it a macaroon. I don't care. It's my show. <laughs> um, I like this one. You know me. I'm not always into peach, but I think they got the bakery note in this one really good. It smells like a crunchy um, peach cookie. And you know what? Um, it kind of reminds me of the peach sugar cone candle. I think for the couple of tweaks they'd have it, maybe a little bit more vanilla, but if they repackage this one for summer and put like um, a county fair like theme on it, I'd be okay with that. I would totally be okay if they called this um, peach, um, peach sugar cone because it does kind of smell like a peach sugar cone. Notice how I'm just like going through. These are all like going together. It's kind of interesting. Um, strawberry pound cake. You know, this is my desert island scent. I love it so much. We've had so many versions of strawberry pound cake. I don't even know how many versions we've had. Um, this is the original. When I first smelled this one, I was like, oh my gosh. I like to wear foodie scents in the evening. Um, it's funny because I tend to wear like more Floral, perfumey, amber, woody scents when I go out, when I'm around people. Um, because for some reason, like, it is a little bit odd. And I, 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 I've explained this before. Um, that you, like, dumped food on your head and you're walking around and you smell just like food. It's a little strange. Especially if you're in a restaurant or something, it might distract. I don't know. I use these as my relaxation scents more than aromatherapy. I love strawberry pound cake in the evening. This, like, puts me right to sleep. I love it. Okay, strawberry pound cake, strawberry pound cake. Uh, next up, oh my gosh, sugared cherry crisp. We need this one back. A lot of people, <laughs> including my mom, thought this smelled horrible. It was like Walmart cough syrup. I love this one. Again, I think it's just how it meshes with your body chemistry. For some reason, this one smells exactly like sugared cherry crisp on me. I love it. It needs to come back. It's wonderful. I love this one. I actually do have a feeling that Berry Waffle Cone will be back for summer. I don't know. I think it's popular. I think this is going to be back. It would be nice if they added some more foodie scents for summer. Uh, Firecracker Pop will probably be back. I could see that coming back. Stop. 
whipped rose latte. Oh my gosh, you guys, this isn't necessarily a bakery scent, but it complements bakery. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm including it. I have another scent that's kind of like that too. Uh, this one is crushed rose petals, cocoa flower, and whipped foam. This one to me is so much better um, than sweet petal pound cake. Oh my goodness. Like I would take this any day over sweet petal pound cake. I think they should have just repackaged whipped rose latte and called it um, sweet petal pound cake if they weren't going to change it up. They really should have added more pound cake in this one because there's no pound cake at all. The other one that's like bakery, not bakery is champagne sprinkles. Um, this one is sure, uh, sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. You know what they should have done? Um, they should have done sweet petal pound cake as this scent, um, maybe added a little bit of rose. I would have been fine with a little bit more rose, but the buttercream scent in here is wonderful. If they'd added just a little bit more cake, I really think they would have had the formula if they had somehow done like a combo of champagne sprinkles, whipped rose latte, and maybe a little bit of like vanilla cake. It would have been perfect. Instead, we got sweet petal pound cake. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of that available at some annual sale for a low price. Okay, next up. Oh my goodness, coconut cream pie. Why we have not seen this scent back, I have no idea. Because this is one of those scents that is absolutely wonderful. I love it. It is uh, toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. It is perfect. Perfect mix of coconut, caramel, sweetness. I love this one. They did a really good job on coconut cream pie. That is a total winner. Um, okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about confetti cake pop, Christmas cookies, and sugared snickerdoodle. Again, those are the two Christmas scents that I didn't like. want to drag out. They're in my box. Um, Confetti Cake Pop came out first, okay? This one is good. I love Confetti Cake Pop. We had it back last summer. Remember in the summer lineup, it's really good. Um, and then everybody thought we had the repackage with Christmas Cookies. Christmas Cookies has got a lot more almond biscotti in it. I like it. It's good. But I actually like Sugared Snickerdoodle a lot better. That's got a little bit more of like a cookie crunch to it. Uh, where Christmas cookies, to me, taste like, uh, taste like, <laughs> going taste like, um, smells like an almond biscotti. Um, but Confetti Cake Pop, this was a good one. And it's funny because there is also in this collection, and I don't think this is a bake shop. I don't think it's a bake shop, but I'm including it because it came in the set. Margarita Cupcake. There's no cupcake in here. There is no cupcake. It's, it's orange, it's lime, and it's vanilla, but there's no bakery note in this one. It was good. Margarita Cupcake was a nice scent. I wouldn't call it a cupcake, though. Um, I didn't even include Pink Velvet Cupcake, because to me, um, that one is like the least cupcake of them all. That's just crazy. Um, we also have Pear Creme Brulee. Remember this one? Uh, baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. I think it has the same base as um, berry waffle cone because this one is nauseating to me. Oh my gosh. There's too much brulee. There's something in here that is just putrid to me. Um, and I wanted to like it. I, I When I saw the packaging and I heard the scent, I'm like, oh, I want to love pear creme brulee. Um, I really wanted to love it. I did not love it. Um, toasted praline and pear. The one that came out in the fall that smells just like graham crackers, that's the one they need to bring back. That's like the wonderful pear. Toasted praline. I think, is it toasted praline and pear? Am I losing it? I think that's what it's called. Again, it's in, it's in my fall and Christmas stuff. And I was like, I'm too tired tonight to pull all that stuff out. <laughs> but that is a really good bake shop. I'm fine with them bringing back, you know, fall, bring toasted praline and pear, Sugared Cherry Crisp, um, you know, the Peach Macaroon. Bring all those back and I am good. Um, chocolate Covered Cherry. I think we've seen the last of Chocolate Covered Cherry. I personally love this one. Rich Milk Chocolate, Red Cherries, and Sweet Liqueur. I think it was a one-off. I don't even know how popular it was. I have a couple of these. Um, one of my viewers sent me like 10 in the shower gel. I still have a couple. It's wonderful. Oh my gosh. 
it smells to me just like chocolate covered cherries. A lot of people got pepper from this and they thought there was like a pink pepper note in it. Again, I think different scents mix differently on different skin types, which is sometimes, you know, when you're reviewing something and you either like it or not like it, it's hard because someone orders it online and they're like, this is not what I expected. <laughs> Uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, whipped berry meringue. Uh, this one is fresh berries, whipped sugar, fluffy vanilla. I don't really consider this a bakery. It was in the bake shop collection. This is kind of like um, a variation of Boardwalk Taffy. Boardwalk Taffy to me is not bakery. It is a sugar scent, which there's a difference. It's not bakery. <laughs> so whipped berry meringue goes with the um, kind of the like sugary candy scents. Okay. The last one I have in here, this was <laughs> pink shop, not pink shop. Oh my gosh. Candied violet sorbet, which I'm kind of curious if the purple one, um, the vibrant gingham is going to be this. So I remember seeing the packaging and I was like, oh yeah, ice cream, candied violet sorbet. Sounds like ice cream, some sort of waffle cone. Um, so I was hoping it was like a better version of berry waffle cone. I was excited about this one. I pick it up and I'm like, oh man, my mother loves this one, by the way. Sugared violet petals, vanilla sorbet, and blackberry, what is it? A oh, blackberry swirl. Um, it's not bakery. It's not bakery. It's a nice scent. I like it too. It's not my favorite, but it's more of like a, like blackberry floral to me. Um, it's nice. I, I, I like wearing this one out in the summer. It's a nice casual scent. Um, I think it's going to be pretty, you know, packaged up if this is the same thing in the gingham, but it, it it's not this. This is not, <laughs> I think this is like the most mispackaged, um, uh, fragrance ever. This just was not working. So anyway, um, I thought we'd have a little fun with the bake shop tonight. This actually was fun. I enjoyed doing this. So, um, let me know your favorite bake shop. Let me know. I'm sure I missed a couple. I'm sure there's some that were prior to my time, uh, that were really good. Um, but let me know what you want next. I'm kind of curious to see what follows, uh, sweet petal pound cake and ice lemon pound cake. I'm curious. I can't wait to see what comes for summer. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.